You're watching a clip from the club podcast. Make sure you follow it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and give it a five-star review. What's happening, everyone, and welcome to the club. Now, before we get into this clip, I need to let you know that this clip is brought to you by the wonderful people of NordVPN. NordVPN have been kind enough to partner with us for the duration of the season, and it is a wonderful service. Make sure that you head over to NordVPN forward slash the club for all of your VPN needs. Now, we all need a VPN in your life, and Nord are elite. So make sure that you check them out. It is so affordable. It is comparable to the price of a cup of coffee per month. And guess what? You get a money back guarantee and you get four months extra totally for free. Not only that, one account can be linked to six different devices. This really is the solution for all of your VPN needs. VPNs are fantastic. It allows you to watch football that otherwise you may not be able to watch. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoy this clip. Cheers. Welcome back to the club. Today we're talking about a brand new World Cup format. More teams playing more football. There's more money for FIFA. It's a beautiful day. What are we thinking, lads? I think... Do you know what we should do, I think, actually? Elliot, our producer, is going to give us the lowdown on it. So that anybody who doesn't know exactly how this World Cup format is going to look, Elliot now will enlighten us. Okay, so this is for the 2026 World Cup. Three team group stages. There'll be 12 groups of four, uh, 48 teams total instead of 32, and 104 matches, 40 more than the last World Cup where there was 64. The top two teams progress, and the top eight third-place teams join them in a round of 32. <clears throat> so only 16 teams get eliminated from the group stage. Um, it's a, a bit mental. There's going to be obviously a lot more teams qualifying, a lot more teams going. And as Booby said, just tons more money. Do, do you know what this feels like? You know, when you, you know, getting to a World Cup at one point, particularly through throughout our entire lives, in fact, getting to a World Cup was an achievement. This doesn't feel like that anymore. Some of the greatest you know, players have never played in the world. Do you, do you know what this feels like now? You know, you know, certain things are a formality. You just have to apply and you get it. Like a provisional driving license. <laughs> this feels like a provisional driving license. Like, yeah, basically, yeah. if you're a country, you play at the World Cup. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is ridiculous. I, I think what was special, I think one of the most special games of the, of the last World Cup, let's talk about Saudi Arabia, Argentina, for example. That is a kind of mixture of a lower, lower level side versus Argentina. I think this format, when I've looked at the kind of structure of the kind of potentialities of it, you're going to see a lot more of these kind of rank 30 versus rank 32 in the group. Mm. You're going to see less of the top sides because there's only, what, six or seven world-class international sides. The rest, all, all these mediocre sides playing each other, it's going to it's going to dilute the actual quality of the World Cup. I think what it yeah. does as well is, I think it will make the knockout stages, you know, the when when you when you're going head to head and it's it's life or death in a yeah. tournament. I think it will make those um, stages of the tournament more exciting because you'll have more teams, more uh, fixtures, more different fans, and you'll have all that kind of you know the great things that the World Cup bring. But the group stages are going to feel redundant because mm. if most of the teams that are in the group stages aren't going out, it's I'm like what are the what is the point of us playing in these groups? And do you know what's painful about that? The words that you've just said is the proof. That's the end of that's the end of whether you think this is a good idea or not. Even if you can find some positives to this, Adam, you've just destroyed it with that because. The best part of any World Cup is the third game of the group. Yeah. You know when the, you know when the Everyone tournament comes. You know time. when the tournament comes alive. Like even even just the most recent World Cup. Do you remember the day when Japan, Germany, and Spain? Do you remember that group? Yeah, do you remember yeah, like, that the was, culmination? That was a great it was, yeah. it was amazing. Do you know? Do you know? I had a, a remarkable experience actually. I was in a pub in Qatar off the back of that, and we, we you know, it's like we're outside. It was two in the morning. It was like brilliant, right? Lo loads of people from everywhere drinking and like gathering as the group of Japanese fans who had been at the game like came in the entire pub because it was Japan and they were in such a difficult group as the Japanese fans came in the, honestly the entire pub stood and gave them a standing event honestly like I was on the table like cheering these like Japanese fans as they came in like that was amazing <laughs> that that moment that glory that that euphoria that you feel towards the end of a group Bang, wallop, crash. Gone. You know what I love about the World Cup? If that's like Premier League football fans, they're always going, I ain't clapping these. Yeah. Mugs. No, you're like, not, you're, no. you're, you're, you're fighting. Like, you're you're fighting. Get these mugs, you'll throw a bottle there, at There are no other fans in the pub. You just, you're lobbing, yeah, you're, you're glassing someone. You know and I mean? is that the World Cup? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, the Japanese three fans. Cheers, Mate, if that's these England fans, my God, I'll be lobbing, I'll be, I'll be piss at them or something. Points. Yeah. <laughs> Being funny, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but you are right. You are a million percent right. And I, I think football is heading towards more money, more, 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 more football, more fatigue in these players. They're playing more games. More problems. Um, Can I just problem. say though, from, is, from, from the problems. perspective of someone that <laughs> doesn't really care about the World Cup and tries to just embrace it all, as someone that's half Indian, 
and has never been able to see India at a World Cup, you would be closer to seeing those things happen. But and it would, they would happen. Yeah, it's not be, about being closer. That that happens, doesn't it? Somehow we still would qualify or we'd ask to play barefooted again and, you know, <laughs> not be allowed to. Is that, that a genuine once. thing? That happened once, yeah. What, India wanted to play barefooted and they weren't allowed. 58, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah, they just seriously. allowed it off. <laughs> I, I did not know that. No, so, so look, there is... And actually, Adam, you bring up a really good point here. We should now look at this from the other side because I think it's very easy for us to be a bit sneery, focus on the money aspect. And that is the motivation here. The motivation isn't what we're about to discuss. I'm sure of that. But it is important to acknowledge maybe San Marino, for San Marino, a team that have tried, they've been like perennial losers in group qualifying. Mm. Maybe they now will get an opportunity. Maybe they now will see their team play at a tournament. Is there is there a positive side to this? I think you're right in terms of, I think San Marino is the, the one country you could argue are never gonna, even going to qualify anyway. Even though there's a thousand teams, they still wouldn't qualify. But it's those kind of, the Norways of the world. You know, the, the, the Harlands and the, and the Odegaards that weren't at this World Cup and, and arguably they should be. You know, Norway, uh, you know, Finland, but doesn't it make it smaller better? European countries. Movie, doesn't it make African it better? Countries. You know the last World Cup? Isn't it a better World Cup? Isn't it a better product that there's some jeopardy around who gets there? Like the fact that Italy didn't make the last World Cup. Yeah. In fact... They didn't make the one before either. Yeah. Doesn't that make it a better World Cup? Like, you know, you know, mm. Wales. Wales didn't qualify for a World Cup or any tournament, I think, from 1958 until yeah. most recently. Yeah. And when they got there, the whole country was just full of like a euphoria. Now, I, Doesn't that make I it special? I don't know how the Olympic qualifiers work for each individual event. But wouldn't it make it more like the Olympics where like everyone's kind of represented and... Is that, I don't know if that's a good thing though because you're kind of taking competition out of it. it feels like the Super League all over again. Do we just well, you're making making decisions just to make more money? Maybe you just don't yeah. qualify. Maybe there's just no quality. Like England, England are playing yeah, qualifiers. Just don't do qualifiers. Or, just don't do qualifiers. To, break, to break it down, lads, you it's only you know it's only another um, certain amount of teams. It's only 16 more teams, and when you break up where they're coming from, so say like five from Europe, four from uh, Concacaf, four, you know three from um, you know Asia. When it's split split that way, is it that much? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it you, is. Now you're just ensuring that Holland and Italy don't not qualify. I hate, really, to, I hate to be the old man in the conversation. I, mean, I, no. I, I hate to be the grumpy old man, but I couldn't care less. I mean, we haven't won a World Cup since '66. We we get to a quarterfinal, which we beat in the French. We get Harry Kane, who's meant to be the, the, the greatest thing since sliced bread, absolute mug, all time uh, top scorer. Right, and he misses a penalty. I don't care if there's a thousand teams. I don't care if there's two teams. England still wouldn't win it. Yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick of Infantino <laughs> trying to get all the money out of it. It's that you know FIFA are the, the the evil empire from Star Wars. They're an embarrassment to football. And before we can get, we got to get rid of FIFA before anything else happens. Before so whether there's a thousand teams in the World mm. Cup, forty eight, whatever. I mean, the World Cup structure is beyond the joke. Yeah, but They're trying to England... rinse money out of people. Yeah. As an England fan, it's, I almost don't care if there's twelve sides from Africa, nine sides from Asia. It don't matter to me. I think it's just it's a money gathering. Operation. No, but the and, point. And the point of scammy. Uh, the point but of this make conversation. The better, though, will it? I think so. You know. More shit. Games. I'm starting to come around to it. You know, it's not more shit games. Though. I think it'll be, it will be. There's more shit teams by definition. You know, you know what the World Cup? Yeah. You know, in qualifiers, I don't think you really get to see teams like half the time teams can't, not, can't be bothered. It's in the middle of a season. Some players are injured, all that kind of stuff. Now I know you can still be injured in the summer. But in, when the actual tournament starts, teams give it their all. You think Saudi, Saudi Arabia beat Argentina? I know they can't play each other in a qualifier, but if they did, mm. Saudi Arabia don't beat Argentina in mm. a qualifier. But somehow at the World Cup on the, on the grand stage, yeah. it happens. But that win, that and you'll win get more of those means stories. less now. That win against Argentina means less because they could have got a nil-nil draw and come third in the group and still qualified if this theoretically in four years' time. Mm. You've also got to think about the quality of football because with this new way that the groups are set up as well, technically, you can draw all three games and go through. Yeah, that's a howl. You could lose. You could lose two games. You could lose two games and still go through. Like, what, what you're going to lose? You're going to you you are going to lose. Like we're going full circle here. But the point that Adam made <clears throat> is the point. You're going to lose everything that you get from a group. The whole point of a group is the crescendo of the group. Yeah. It's like a Champions League group. The point is that final day when anything can happen and you have to, it's, you know, you Would have you to go Would you be more the for this then if there was no group, it was just straight knockouts, but there was more teams? No, I don't think it needs changing. I, I, I know that this makes me sound quite sterile, as you were suggesting you sounded moments ago. But sometimes I think, you know, the, you know that old theory about things not being broken? Yeah, don't. football is football is fine. Like the, the the structure of the the structure of the pyramid in 
in this country is fine. It didn't need a Super League and that's why people didn't want it because it wasn't improved. I don't think football needs to be improved upon. I think the World Cup that we just had in Qatar was fantastic. I think the World Cup that we had four years before that in Russia was fantastic. I think we've seen that the World Cup works. People are happy with the World Cup. This constant desire to improve isn't actually about improving at all. It's a facade about improvement to simply extract more money from the game. That's all this is. More more games equals more money mm. equals more problems. More TV, more revenue, yeah. more um, attendees. Just more games. It adds about make. a billion pounds more of revenue for sold. FIFA. It's about a billion yeah. quid, uh, mm. if not a little bit more. He's so. appalling, isn't he? That in fact, I know that this isn't the point of the conversation, but forgive forgive me, producer Elliot, producer Jads want to do this. Gianni Infantino is just... He, he's, he's a he's, mug. What is it about that role that seems to corrupt the person who occupies it like when you know when you think about the, the, if, when you think about the way that it was run under Blatter when you think about the way that Blatter went about his business when you think about the corruption that has encompassed that putrid organisation and then Blatter goes and you think okay mm. it's 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 that moment it's that watershed moment and football is saved Blatter is gone hopefully the cronies are gone as well and football will now rejoice in its purity and anyway, Infantino comes in, you're like, hang on a minute, this geezer's just as bad, he's if worse. not worse. He's worse, yeah. Well, he's I, think, I think it's the as well. only argument for the Super League, as much as I'm, I'm so f- fundamentally opposed to it, the only argument for the Super League is that it creates a new body uh, of football organisation run by the clubs. There's more connections to the fans. That's the only argument for a Super League is to kind of bypass FIFA because I think FIFA's so morally There devoid. is definitely a worrying. requirement for FIFA and UEFA to be improved upon and stuff but I just don't I get what you're saying I know you said you're predominantly against the Super League and that's the only oh, always. for it yeah. but yeah it does. It would scare me to put more power into the club hands but you're right UEFA from FIFA need to be Ooh. need mm. to be restructured um, for the better amount of football and not for the people that control FIFA um, but yeah it seems like we're torn on this chat about whether you know the World Cup should change or not what do you guys think in the comments below let us know do you want more teams at the World Cup and if you're from one of those teams um, or countries that may benefit let us know why Sam this Marino. is a good thing I want, I want on, Sam Marino on, fans on, that point, fan. on, on Adam's point as well we have like huge demographics in like India Pakistan like Australia New Zealand like all they come for me but 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 to those <laughs> no, no, for me, but, 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 but Wales Wales is the same as that right Wales went 58 until recently but they've actually qualified though Exactly. One in, yeah. one in 55. I'm thinking years. about teams who've never qualified. But it, is that not the point of qualifying? Like, imagine, imagine I don't want to see the Welsh. I don't want to see the Scottish. But imagine how big the game Irish is. Or the Republican of Ireland. Actually, no, I want this to get reduced. I, I want the World Cup to go down. down. No, no, no. Eight no. teams. Eight teams. Eight teams. <laughs> the top eight. England are in it. I, don't, I never want to see a Scottish in a tournament how ever again. How elitist. No, or the Welsh. <laughs> no, you're or, right. or the Northern Irish. No, I don't care. Think about That's this, right. They hate us, so I, I hate how them. How many new... I know, I know, like, <laughs> India, Indian fans are huge and they watch the English game and they watch all the European football and they probably watch the World Cup anyway and support England and that but imagine if India were in that tournament or Pakistan or Bangladesh whoever those eyes of that country are then all on that tournament I want that Again. for that but I don't want to see India get and banged football 12 gets bigger. and then maybe know. Man City will attract <laughs> some more fans because while they're watching <laughs> India play Argentina <laughs> and they see I don't know yeah, but look at Sergio Qatar. Aguero look at or Qatar. Julian Alvarez or someone how they'll be bad like, were Qatar oh, in yeah. the tournament yeah. How bad were Qatar? Yeah, but and they're yeah. ranked even, they're like 50 above like India and China and all that. Do you know what I mean? So I, I know what you're trying to say on a kind of holistic level, but I want to see good, for, I don't want to see India for the sake of it. I want to see the best, I, I want to see the best 11 see players. I want to see India stink the place out at the World Cup. <laughs> That's what I want to see. <laughs> they just be rubbish. I just want to see England, England win a World Cup. That's yeah. I think we've established that. While Gareth Southgate's at the helm, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how mate, we, we can do a two-team Gareth World Southgate Cup. In there. Yeah. yeah, us and San Marino. We have just our Just be us. We somehow lose it. Somehow we lose. We bottle our own go. game. Yeah. Maguire yeah. own. And we wrap this video on pages and we're still going. Oh, is this? Are we wrap. <laughs> let's wrap. Okay, let's wrap then. Bye. Bye. Over to you. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Thanks to everyone for watching, San Marino fans. <laughs>